And now I'm going to show you how the vintage antiquing paste works. Uh, for sure for this project, but in general, any of my kits you got in your hands and we have in the instructions, you have to do the vintage antiquing paste is exactly the same way as I'm going to show you here. Okay, let's start. First, of course, we want to have the vintage antiquing paste. This is oil based product. I'm gonna put some here. Then for sure you need one stencil brush. So I have this one from Staberia, very cheap brush. You can uh, ask your local store to, to order this. This is a very nice brush, but at the same time, I have also a smaller one that will help me to go in in some details. Now, very important, as you see, or as you saw already in the instructions, everything is sealed. Every, every single paper or fabric has to be sealed with mixed media glue or any kind of varnish. Of course, the acrylic parts, everything is painted with acrylic. We don't care, like the gears, the molds, because the acrylic seals the porous surfaces. Okay, and then here I have a white spirit, a turpentine, mineral spirit, you call it in a different, in a different ways in many different countries. But uh, this, I, that helps me a lot to just go much faster and easier. So basically what I do, I just take a little bit. You have to understand, you just need a small amount when you start, just a small amount in your brush. And then you go here and you just make the oil just a bit softer. And then basically you just go and cover everything. I know it looks scary, but just trust me and you're gonna love the result at the end. Now, this is the result you should have. As you can see, it looks scary. I mean, pretty much I cover everything. And especially I know it looks really scary when you go on top of the of, of a face or a paper, but you just have to trust me. Now, at this point, I'm done. I usually, this brush, uh, I didn't need to use this one. This one, I have it here just sometimes, you know, you want to go in a little details there. And you know, the brush sometimes cannot reach in. So you have to just take turpentine take some oil and just let it drip. But very important, you have to understand that every single detail on the side here, everywhere, under every single paper, under every single corner, you must place the vintage and thinking paste because at the end, this is the place, those are the places that we want to have the vintage look to look dark. Okay, after that, that, that needs a lot of time to dry. So you have plenty of time to, you know, to just think about it work on it you don't have to worry about anything now the next step of course is two three four baby wipes all together depends how big is the project i will just make a nice surface here and then very lightly i'm going to clean the project and start getting all the details give that vintage look that I want to give. And now I will show you in a close-up how you can see now the crackle paste, the transparent, 
and all the details. Every time you change side, new side, you clean more. So let me show you a little bit here in the camera. Look how nice now the crack paste and all the details, the shadows. That's why we don't need also to ink the papers because basically while you're doing that, it's kind of inking, inking the papers also on the edges, right around the edges. Anyway, so then the same everywhere. Very nice result. And don't forget, when the vintage sneaking paste dries, especially because we use uh, turpentine, now it's shiny, but when it dries, it's going to be matte. So this is very important. You're not gonna have any signs on your project, any shiny spot, spots, sorry. And here we have the result. Look how beautiful <clears throat> and how much uh, the projects change with the vintage thing paste. We can see all the details. We can see the crackle paste. It's very, very, very beautiful. And of course now I'm going to do the same also inside, but I think I don't need to show you again. And after you do the inside, you're done with the project. Now, what I haven't done uh, in my sample is that you should put primer here when you do, when you cover with primer the mold and you paint it red, you should do also the same on the other other, other side. So basically you can just, uh, when you turn it, you can see red and you don't see this white spot here. Okay, basically that's it. We do also the same inside and the project is done. <laughs> 